And so like, if you put in $300 million and bought that many Bitcoins on the, probably the over the counter market, um, you take um, equivalent of 185 days of reduced, um, reduced uh, block reward. You know, so 12 and a half Bitcoins every 10 minutes multiplied by 120, 85 days gives you the impact of um, reducing the supply of um, that's the impact of the ETF. Yeah. That's so if the ETF is approved, then we, we take up 185 days worth of supply. Yeah. And so the, you can you can work that. Out. So with that, you can work out <clears throat> roughly what um, price impact you get. Um, so right now. Um, this is kind of really like what we saw is this price speculation start to to rise, and what the market tries to do is right before this decision on Mar March 11th, yes or no, whether we'll get an ETF, the market should price in um, what what the probability of the ETF is and um, the price impact of it. And right now we're saying the market's actually saying one third chance of it being approved. And if the price at this point here is um, is a given figure, and if the probability is one third, then you can expect that um, the price, if it's approved, the fundamental price would be up here. Um, so have you got a prediction here. market for the for the whether the ETF will go through or not? Is that what we got here? Yeah, and yeah. That's what we got. This is this is the Bitnex prediction market. And so that, that, the markets are actually saying roughly, um, they're saying roughly a third chance of it approving. And you just run that through this model um, that I did. And it, it comes to this figure, um, it comes to this figure of, um, if, if you say, say 300 million is going to be injected in the first week, which was a report um, by an analyst a few months ago. Um, you can you can say maybe half a million or a billion dollars will get invested over the, the successive months. Um, if it's five hundred million, then you can expect the fair um, value to be, based on what the market's saying, to be twelve hundred and forty. Um, and but if a billion dollars is invested, then seventeen hundred dollars, and that's that's kind of fundamental value. It doesn't account for the market doing this sort of speculative overshoot.